Okay, welcome back to the channel. It's been a fair while since I released a video, so apologies about that, but hopefully moving into 2023, I should have a pretty action-packed year. Well, that's the plan, so. Um, and one of the new things I suppose you can notice here is uh, I bought a jet ski. So a jet ski has been on my bucket list for quite a few years, but for a number of reasons, it just hasn't worked. But um, yeah, I finally managed to purchase one. So I thought on this video, what I'll do is just give you a quick rundown on what I've purchased and what I plan to do with it. So let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, what is it? It is a 2017 Sea-Doo Wake Pro 230. And I purchased it off a workmate with 15 hours on it for 15 grand. Okay, so what did I go with the jet ski? Uh, the thing I like it, well, I've never owned a jet ski before, so it's my first one, I've never owned a boat before. Decided to go for a jet ski because I often do solo trips. And I was pretty keen for something that I could launch myself and I had the confidence to kind of, I don't know, learn my way around the water. I am, um, I'm not a, what we call a salty sea dog, I'm pretty, pretty new to it, so. I thought this would be a good way, and when, when my workmate said this was for sale, I thought, yep, it ticks all the, ticks all the boxes. One thing I was looking was for a decent sized jet ski, um, because one of the main things I am planning to do with it is some camping trips. So camping trips over to Morden Island, Bribey Island, and the size of the ski allows for, you know, for storage of plenty of gear to, you know, get across and do a few camping trips. Okay, so since purchasing the jet ski, I've already done a couple upgrades. Um, which I'll run through shortly, but I have got a fish finder um, installed on the, on the jet ski and I've also upgraded my Dometic S-Ski so it's tied on the back and it's kind of my go-to for holding my rods um, as well as storage so Okay, so what I might do now is just give you a bit of a rundown of some of the features of the ski and yeah, hopefully in some upcoming videos you'll see me out on here exploring some of Morden Bay and hopefully pushing a little bit further as well so, let's have a look around it. Okay, after plenty of research and looking into sounders, I ended up going with the Lowrance HTS 7 Live. So it's the, just the seven inch model um, with the three in one transducer. Oh, I ended up picking this up from BCF at a pretty good deal during their Black Friday sale. I was planning on mounting it myself using a ram mount, but I was, after much consideration and, and pretty much struggling to find a, a decent solid base to to mount the ram mount, I ended up getting a shoreline at Sykes Creek to, to make up a custom mount. So the custom mount has it above the kind of instrument panel and it actually works perfectly. You can still, while sitting down, clearly see your, see, clearly see your instruments, but then also have got a clear view of the sounder. I also decided to go for an external mount of the transducer. Uh, the reasoning for that was wanting to get uh, well, wanted to make use of the side scan that the uh, that the unit comes with. So far, yeah, it's working fine. Just got to get a bit of a system going for it to, um, you know, fold up and fold down um, just with the bracket system it's currently using. Okay, so the other main upgrade I've had is I've just uh, modified my 68 litre Dometic Esky. So I already had the Esky, so I reached out to the guys at Fish Ski Australia and purchased some of their bits and pieces, accessories, have added it to the Esky and pretty much mounted it up. What I'll do now is just run a little bit of footage of me upgrading the Esky and then I'll finally show you kind of the finished product. So I'll roll some of that footage now. Okay, so this there is the end product, and I've used it a couple times, and it's excellent. So I'm running two five-liter jerry cans on the back. So the jet ski has a 60-liter tank, so that gives me 10 extra liters, and it's yeah, so that's a 70-liter kind of range. Ok, 
Okay, so the Wake Pro models also come with the wakeboard holder and decided to modify this to hold my spare guns and fins. So pretty simple, just bought a couple clamp it rubber holders um, to mount the spare guns to. And there you go, it's nicely set up now to carry two guns and two sets of fins. thing about the Cedar that I really like is the amount of storage it has up the front. I think it has all up over 160 litres. So there's going to be plenty of space, especially in the front, to load a, you know, a small tent um, and some gear to go camping. So yeah, there'll be plenty of room to, to load up and, and head on off. Okay, a few more questions I suppose that you might have about the Ski. It is a supercharged model, so it is a 230 horsepower with a supercharger. Fuel economy wise, that's probably the next question. So, it's totally dependent on how much, how much gas you give it. If I'm in economy mode, I can average around 15 litres an hour at around 40 to 45 k's an hour. So, but then if I put it into sport mode and just open it up, I probably get an hour and a half use of out of it before it um, before it's you know going to be empty at the 60 litre tank, but that's probably 80, 90k an hour. So really dependent on how you know how much juice you give it. Uh, but so far I've got over to Morden and back with using about um, about 35 to 40 litres. So I didn't even need any spare. I still had plenty in my main tanks, so I was pretty pretty happy with that. I wasn't sure how I was going to go, but yeah, there to Morden Island, over to Tangaluma, from Woody Point, and then back. And yeah, I reckon around the 40 litre mark. So yeah, can't complain with that. But it was a nice flat day and I was being a little bit conservative because I was a little bit unsure about just you know how far I was gonna get. Um, apart from that, yeah, it's pretty much now just ready to get out and hopefully this wind dies down. I'm battling at the moment with the wind. So as soon as the wind dies down, my plan is to get out and, and use it as much as possible. I uh, might pop out tomorrow, maybe just for a river trip, um, just because I know the wind over the next couple of days is too bad for the bay. But yeah, that wraps up a pretty quick video and a bit of a rundown of the new toy. If you do have any other questions, please make sure to throw a comment below and I'll make sure to answer those. But if not, keep an eye out for 2023. Plenty of trips on this, plenty of hunting trips, plenty of camping trips. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video. Catch you later.